What's up anime fans, Soul here bringing you quite possibly my favorite anime of the season. I didn't add Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches into my last must watch anime video because I wanted to specifically give this anime its own video, it's that good. But for those of you who are watching the anime with me already, all I have to say is we better get a season 2. I have not yet read the manga, but I already know the most important thing that will happen and I have no idea right now if they will finish that up with the end of season 1 coming or if we'll have to wait and if that's the case we have to get a season 2. I will be so sad if this ends unfinished. I'm really hoping the anime is doing well in Japan right now. So we are currently around episode 9 or 10 and people are already saying it's not following the manga, it's skipping a ton of content and others are saying it's still following the manga. If we want to see the end of the arc, we're going to need another season. I have no idea. I've already spoiled enough of it for myself. And either way, no matter what, I'm getting the manga. Kodansha is already publishing it in Japan and the US. I'll probably buy all of the volumes, but I'm for sure reading ahead. Apparently the manga is even better than the anime, so I have no doubt it's going to be awesome. I love Miki Yoshikawa's art style. I'll even show you something really cool from Japan if you're a fan of the anime at the end of the video. But if you have not watched the series, I highly recommend it to you. Watch it free in HD on crunchyroll.com slash soul. That's my exclusive subscriber link that will be in the description for those of you who are inevitably going to ask me where to go watch it. So go watch it for free. It's pretty much an amazing romantic comedy. If you're looking for a strictly action anime or something else, check out my last must watch anime video. Funny story, I wasn't even going to watch this. I saw the title card and I was just like, oh, another magical schoolgirl anime, possibly a harem. I'm going to skip it. But I'm so glad someone told me to check it out. I can't believe I almost missed this. I even started watching it a second time with my girlfriend. It's that good and she loves it too. So basically the MC Yamada is a transfer student. He's like the school punk who doesn't pay attention in class, doesn't get along with people. To me Yamada is a pretty good main character. He's not bad. If you've watched any of the trailers, none of this is really a spoiler by the way, just an introduction to the beginning. But it's not Yamada who drew me into the series. It's 110% Urara Shadaishi, best girl of the season, possibly best girl this entire year, minus like Akano, Hestia, and Uta but Shiraishi is seriously such an intriguing character. Even now, 10 episodes later, I am still so eager to know so much more about her. And don't even get me started on her character design. She reminds me a bit of Lucy from Fairy Tale. I don't know why she just does, but that's awesome. And those cross hair clips. Yoshikawa, you are a freaking genius. Kawaii is not enough to describe her. She's like the girl you fall in love with. But anyways, back to the story. Here comes the whole cliche body swap that has been used a thousand times. Shiraishi can take exams for Yamada. Yamada finds out that she's a victim of bullying and the story progresses, but here's the catch, they can switch back. And here's the other catch, they might not be the only ones with special powers. Though part of me wishes they were, I ship them more than anyone else this season. I wouldn't mind just the two of them, but we move a bit away from that as we're introduced to more witches, more magic, and more problems. And that's pretty sad, but they never totally leave that romance out. And things are looking up later in the season, I am so excited to see the rest of this anime. There must be a season 2. If you watch this for nothing else, watch it for Shidaishi, you'll see what I mean when you see her personality and feel bad for how she's treated by other people other than Yamada. Totally worth it. After I'm caught up with Fairy Tale, this will be the next manga I check out. So this is the special item I got from Japan. This is an exclusive for one of the stores in Akihabara, Tokyo that I visited and I found it because the creator of the anime posted this on Twitter. I'm pretty sure it's a collection of artwork from the creator and a ton of other Japanese artists who drew Yamada-kun characters in different styles and the artwork is really nice. The most established art book released for the series so far. Definitely glad I picked this up. And as for the music, I have never skipped the opening or ending for this show. Some of my favorite anime music, I'll be buying both of the opening and ending anime CDs from Japan after they release. This show really scores high in so many aspects. Sadly, there's not too many products out for the anime yet. Like I said, I'll be picking up the manga when it's all released, but there's no Shiraishi figures or unique Yamada-kun posters and other Japanese stuff I'd usually pick up from Akihabara. The anime is still pretty popular in Japan, so I'm anticipating some more to come in the future. I know a lot of you are interested in that as well if you like the show, and if I find anything cool, I'll make sure to post it on my social networks. If you want the art book, like I said, it's probably pretty difficult to get at this point since it was only sold in Japan at a specific store as an exclusive, but hopefully there will be more Yamada-kun stuff to come because I love the creator's artwork. Be true, me and you could never be true.
only believe this promise The scars will never fade away All the tears will disappear Tell me these words will reach you If only I could find And I will definitely be doing my own Shidaishi artwork soon You can follow all of that on Twitter, Instagram, or Anime Amino Those links will be in the description And go watch this show free with my Crunchyroll link I'm glad I could share this with you guys Tell me in the comments if you think there will be a season 2 Who's your favorite girl, Shidaishi And will you be picking up the series if you haven't seen it Also subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed it Arigato gozaimasu. Matane.